instability, risk for the future, work in a new environment with a new approach. These are some of just some of the things that we're challenged with these days. From a psychological perspective, fear of the future or a disruption of the 80% of the needs of employees who are at risk and not fulfilled. Just think of the Maslow pyramid of needs. So the challenge with this current leadership model is that it's based on behaviors, including psychological resources, such as attitudes, beliefs, and skills that actually make people thrive and be productive at work. So over these next several episodes, we're going to look at how can we reinvent leadership. Elena, in times like today, leadership certainly needs to be reinvented. The first element of leadership uh, reinvented is about how to build internal resources as a leader to enhance our interactions and build real human connection. Building real human connections is an effort and takes a price on our psychological resources. No matter what people say, it is not innate. We need to invest brain energy to make it happen. The bucket list of a modern leader consists of having open communication or the capacity to extend to, to, for the leader to encourage open dialogue within their team. The second point is about participation. Uh, being able to actively encourage the participation of everyone on their team. Third point is about positive relationships. Uh, it is when the leader kind of builds trusting personal relationship with his coworkers. Finally, we have the trust climate or the possibility for leaders to create a climate where a team, where team members feel comfortable taking risks and speaking up. Building the actions around these four dimensions implies consistent practice to make it from unnatural or not, or not innate to a genuine ritual. Interesting about this is that the first part of anything, any kind of change and reinventing of ourselves, we really need to look at the self-reflection point. So we encourage you to just look at least in one of these areas. So whether it's open communication or participation or positive relationships or the trust climate. So for example, you take one that you want to start working on and put an action towards it. It doesn't need to be something small. It can be a tiny little action or habit that you can do daily with your coworkers. So for example, let's take positive relationships. First step is to, of course, reflect and understand where do you stand with your relationships with your colleagues. And the second step would be how can you make time to touch base with them, to really connect with them in a meaningful way, to really spend maybe, let's say, five minutes in the beginning of each Zoom call to connect with individuals one-to-one -one or as a group and let people sort of share their challenges that they might be willing, that might, they might be dealing with. So it's taking those five minutes to build a meaningful connection, to really get to know your team, their values, aspirations, and motivations, and any challenges they might be experiencing. Well, there it goes. We have the first action to, in order to build meaningful uh, relationships. Thank you.